Welcome to another day in the Scottish Highlands, where we attempt to navigate round and shoot in the most appalling wet weather that I've shot in for quite a while. Well, they didn't totally spoil the day, it tried damn hard. And once again, we are hosted by an American family who have invested heavily in these remote parts of Scotland. I do wish the Scottish Government had the same faith in its country sports that our overseas investors did. And I thank you once again to our American friends who continue to invest vast sums in the Scottish countryside. Morning, Todd. Good morning, Dave. How are you? Fantastic. People don't realise we are in the highlands of Scotland, uh, about an hour from Inverness, mm -hmm. what we do call the true highlands. Indeed. And um, people don't realise what the sporting adventure is like up here. And we've got so many, uh, we've got the fishing, we've got the stag hunting, and we've got some lovely partridge shooting and pheasant shooting. And uh, we've got some of the best uh, entertainment as far as uh, the sporting world's concerned on our doorstep here. And we are stopping at one of the most beautiful places on earth, especially in these parts. It's absolutely fantastic, which is Lynx House. I'm stood with, uh, with Todd, the owner. And uh, if you can just go through it, Todd, of the, the sporting adventure that's available up here and, uh, and why you have actually invested in, uh, in Scotland, Probably, probably because you've, you've probably had an, an, you've got ancestors here. From, Indeed, from way back. Indeed, goes, I do. Goes back three or four hundred years. Yep. Yeah. Well, I think this is a little bit of a um, uh, an, an area of the world, certainly an area of the UK that's just getting rediscovered. Yeah. Um, you know, clearly Scotland has been known for years for Lynx golf, yeah. and as you can see, we're about a hundred yards from the first tee of Royal Dornoch, which is number five in the world, and just. Uh, changed my life in terms of a, of a golf course. But what I discovered here, and what you and a number of other people have discovered, is that the country sport up here is just extraordinary. Uh, a number of Americans come here frequently and say, can, can I really get a stag? And the reality is uh, they're ubiquitous here and yeah. probability of getting a stag is extremely high. Um, but so too, uh, the pheasant shooting and partridge uh, woodcock up here are just really? extraordinary. And it's all at your doorstep, it's all so close. Yeah. The, the local people up here, yeah. everyone recognizes yeah. the importance that country sports has, and so you have participation in it at all levels of society uh, enthusiastically. Well, Todd, thank you very much for, keep, for the investment that you put into this part of the world. And and, and, and every American and every foreign uh, investor that comes here and risks their money, hard earned money as well, yes. in, into, the, into this economy, I thank you very much, sir. You're very welcome and thank you for coming and I look forward to a great day up on the hill. Lovely, thank Indeed. you. For our second day in the Highlands with Chisholm Sporting, we're at the very reputable shoot to Matin for a 150 bird day. Tomatin is known for its high partridge, and let me tell you, it did not disappoint. Even though we were not able to get to all their best drives, the ones we shot were not disappointing as far as quality was concerned. We're at uh, Tomatin Estate. I've really been looking forward to this, but. We are up against it today. The weather's horrific, and it's been raining here for a, above a week now, Ewan, yeah, we? non-stop. But we are at a real high partridge shoot, and hopefully we're gonna see some stunning birds. I, I shot my first red stag the other day, and we went to a nice little partridge shoot uh, yesterday, and this is the penultimate. See what's happening. We're on the MPEG, so we might be out of it, we might be in it, but we've still got to earn every bird that we get here. You get that? Yeah. 
Can't believe it. I fetched my two favourite girls over here. Well, my, my third one's over there, she's taking no notice, our Tracy, to this beautiful part of the world and it's rained for solid all the way up and it's still raining. <clears throat> Things have toughened up now, these are really high bankings here. So we're hoping to get some good footage here. And uh, as you can hear, the, the, the what, what was a stream the other day is now a raging torrent. But still raining. I'm hoping we're gonna get, we are gonna, going to get back to our base because we have to cross a few uh, bridges here to get here. So hopefully we'll get back okay. Thank you. I hope everybody can hear me, but we're right at the side of, the, of the, what used to be a stream, is now a, a torrential river, and I wouldn't like to fall in it. Some of my viewers might like to see that, but as you can see these, we're onto some really tough stuff now, and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get some real nice party on, uh, on show here, and the hot pheasant or two. So, wish me luck. Well, I don't fall in the river. I'm telling you what, I really enjoyed that. I tell you what, you old fella killed a very nice bit here. Well, we're on the, the uh, penultimate drive at Tomatin and it looks spectacular. Still at the side of the, uh, the raging torrent and uh, we've got some nice birds on the last drive but uh, hopefully we'll get some more uh, nice birds here. As you can see the, at the backdrop here, it's uh, 
very, very steep, so I think we'll see some fantastic birds here. Thank you. Oh, well, uh, a nice finish here, some absolutely stonking birds here. Uh, keeper's been up, at, uh, it's been up against it uh, all day today, really. The river's just fallen a little bit, but it's rained for three days non-stop in these hills. So it's not been the best of flying weather, but we have had some good birds, and uh, I can highly recommend to Martin for a, uh, a really good day out on some nice birds.